Look at my amazing stack of trucks. What happens when you try to drive it? Find out in this video. Hey, this is YBR with BeamNG Drive, and today we're gonna play around with trailers because there are a handful of ideas that I wanna try out that all involve trailers, so I decided let's just clump these all into one single video. The first thing I wanna test is does traffic mode support trailers? And while I set this up, I have a question for you guys. Is there anything you would be interested in seeing in a video that specifically involves trailers? If so, leave a comment, maybe there'll be a part two for this video. So now let's attach this car to the trailer. And a random thought that crossed my mind, the stock pickup truck should have a trailer hitch because that's the do-all vehicle of Beam and G Drive, so it should be able to support trailers automatically. So now we're gonna go to that truck though, and I'm gonna tell the AI to go into traffic mode and just drive wherever they want. And I'm gonna drive also wherever I want, which is straight ahead of them. And eventually their car should respawn somewhere in front of me. And we're gonna see, does it still have the trailer attached or has the trailer just been left behind in the dust? So I can see the AI way up there, but I can't quite tell if they have a trailer attached yet. So we gotta get a little bit closer and then we'll have the answer to this question. So they do in fact still have the trailer attached. That is excellent news. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like a half dozen AI vehicles that all have a trailer attached to them. And I'll be back once it's all set up because as far as I know, I have to do this manually. Let's see, are they gonna hit me? Ooh, they got pretty good brakes. Anyways, I'll be back in a second. Okay, there are lots of trailers off in the distance and now my car is a Hirochi Sunburst with the off-road package. So that way I can really do this. So what is this? I want to drive onto the trailer of a car as it's driving. This is one of those things I saw in Mythbusters years ago. And okay, that guy up there is spinning out. There's a trailer just sitting here. Ramp, baby. <laughs> this is not at all what was supposed to be happening. But this complete chaos is amusing. But as I was going to say, I want to drive onto a trailer while the car is still driving like this. Except he is coming to a complete stop because some idiot flipped his trailer. That guy's crashing too. Oh my god. What is going on with this AI? He spun out. I just crashed into him being spun out. The AI does not know how to drive with a trailer. All right, finally, here's a dude who's driving normally with a trailer. We're going to just glide onto the trailer nice and easy like he's slamming on his brakes. Why'd you do that? I guess it's because I touched their trailer so they thought, oh, I was in a rear end collision. Better come to a stop. And that didn't exactly work the way I wanted it to at all. Uh, I'll admit this now, uh, this video is not following script at all. I was supposed to just cleanly drive onto a trailer and it would be great. When I tried it out with only one single car with a trailer, it worked great! When you try it out with multiple pieces of traffic all freaking out, they don't know what the heck is going on anymore apparently, and I don't know how it worked before. But I swear to you, when I tried it with one car, it somehow worked. If I try it enough times, it has to work eventually, right? That's my logic right now. So here's a nice and easy trailer. Eh, maybe not. Those guys will spin out. I've seen them drive. I want to go into the trailer of a van or a truck because those are more heavy duty vehicles and the AI seems to drive them just a little bit better. And I have no idea why they're dropping trailers all over the place. Again, when I tried it earlier with one vehicle, they were not dropping trailers and having them roll backwards. The trailer was just cleanly attached and it was working nice. Maybe it's when the cars respawn, the trailer isn't fully attached and they're just respawning with too much momentum? I, I don't know, but why are they spinning out like that? There's no reason for them to spin out. They should be able to drive a trailer just fine. Oh, but here's my opportunity. We are gonna make this so good. Come on, come on, don't do this to me. No, you're not supposed to spin out like that. Uh, hey, I landed on a trailer after all. That is what we in the industry call a success. A terrible success. All right, get off of this dude. I just want to accomplish this simple goal. If we can't do it, I'm going to make it happen because the physics behind it is solid. This should work in the game. The problem is the AI has two brain cells and they're doing their very best, but they rub them together so fast they ignite. And then they have zero brain cells left and they just spin out. And apparently there's no AI here anymore, so I'll just do a little U-turn, I guess. I don't know where they went, but they ain't in that direction for some reason. Here we go. There's a car. We are going to get onto his trailer. At least we're going to try once more to get onto his trailer if I don't spin out myself. My two brain cells are a little bit on fire, apparently. Okay, nice and careful. Nice and careful. I'm going to do this as easy as I can. Super easy. Don't slam on your brakes, my man. 
See, the problem is, is they slam on their brakes. They're not spinning out because of what's happening in the trailer. I'm not disturbing it that much. It's they lock up their brakes and then it's all bad. So here's a new idea. I'm gonna tell the AI to run away from me. So that way, even if I hit them, hopefully, what is that red truck doing? Oh, you know what? I want the red truck as my driver. He is a complete lunatic and he's perfect for this. But the idea is hopefully now when I hit their vehicle, they're not going to stop immediately. They're going to keep trying to get away from me. And it worked, except we were doing it like five miles per hour and they are not moving anymore because apparently their truck is broken. Oh, AI, why are you going to do this to me? We were so close. So we're resetting everybody now and we're going to see if this can fix anything up. So we got find my car, wherever the heck it is. We got like a half dozen cars up here, plus the trailers. Oh my goodness, blue van. Absolute lunatic. The best part about this is, is the AI themselves are now using the trailers as ramps too. So it's just chaos times a thousand and it makes everything 10 times worse. All right, come on. Let's try this again. Very, very simple. Red truck, I am gonna drive onto your trailer. And apparently everybody has crashed already. I look away for three seconds and all of y'all decide to crash. All right, good news is red truck did not crash. He is my target truck. This should be nice and easy, just going right up on it. He's still coming to a stop and I'm doing a stoppy apparently. It kind of worked. Again, the AI is so unpredictable, it just doesn't because of that. It's really unfortunate that they suck at driving so badly. So I did another full reset because I think that's gonna be the key here, <laughs> except apparently Red Truck is just, again, a lunatic who shot off. Thankfully, there's an SUV over here who we might be able to get onto the back of. Oh, that's different. Hey, this is not flee. This is not flee at all. This is ram and attack, you maniac. Y'all are all just insane. I don't know what's up with this AI right now, but I swear something just ain't right in their brains. When you attach trailers to them, look, they spin out, they slam into the cars that spin out in front of them. I have no idea. They crash into me when they're trying to flee. The red truck doesn't have a trailer. The, I, everybody's losing trailers. I swear, just, I have no idea what's going on anymore. This video has just gone completely off the rails because I am so amused at how confused the AI is. So I want to see though, why are they losing the trailers actually when we spawn them up? So like, you see there, he lost his trailer. Well, what happened? You see when they spawn, the trailer is separate from the truck just a second. So I think that's what happens is just, they accelerate a little too fast and the trailer's not able to latch up in time. All right, come on now. We just want simple, simple stuff. He's going to spin out. He's going in way too hot. Uh, oh, yep, there you go. Just as I thought. See, the AI just does not know how to drive with a trailer. They go way too fast in the corners and they can't make it. <laughs> what are you doing? Really? What are you doing, my man? Oh, okay, it got worse. You just smashed right into the other car. You are all the biggest idiots I have ever seen. And wait a minute, I just realized something. The AI is actually respawning while they're in flea mode because I activated flea while it was in traffic. I did not know it would do that. Okay, we gotta make sure that's actually the case. So you get out the way for a second. So if there's a car in front of me, which there is, because there's a drag car right over there spinning out. So that's really interesting. This is something we can make like a whole nother video on. I'm gonna have to come back to this later for sure. But right now we gotta go back to that original goal. Just drive onto a trailer. How hard could it be? Apparently much harder when you have multiple vehicles. You know what, here's what I'm gonna do. I think it might be a little bit easier if we are on a nice big long straightaway. And thankfully we did start on a nice long straightaway. So all we need to do is go back to the home location and this time it should actually work somewhat. We're gonna see what the AI does. I think also another problem is, is even if I get onto their trailer, they're still gonna freak out. That guy's freaking out already. So we're gonna try to go nice and easy onto them. And they're freaking out already. You can see them swerving all over the place and they've literally spun three cars out and I didn't do a thing. All I did was exist, literally. I'm existing and that causes a three car pileup and that guy's driving in the wrong direction. There's a trailer on the floor. Just again, chaos, chaos, chaos. But I see an opportunity right up there. There's a car. We can get onto this trailer nice and easy like. 
please do not freak out. I am just entering the trailer. Stay calm, nice and easy. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. They're freaking out. There is no reason for them to have spun out there. There is absolutely no reason for them to have tried to do something like what they did. The reason they did that is just because I was on the back and they didn't know what to do. Because look at that, again, very nice and easy, although we were going slower there. And was that some teamwork by the AI? The blue van took the trailer off, so then I was off. Wow, that's impressive teamwork, guys. I didn't think you guys were smart enough to do that. You must have rubbed both your brain cells together real hard for that one. All right. This car's a little bit damaged. I finally proved that this does, in fact, work. So, finish everything off here with a nice big crash before we get to do the next test that I want to do here. And we just have it pile up of three cars. Oh, wait. We got more cars coming. Hey, this is flea, guys. This is flea. This is not ramming to everybody like a big fat dummy. They're all here. Literally, that's all of them. I know I've been saying a half dozen, but there's actually five because I ended up deleting one of them because it was glitching out. So anyways, what I'm going to do though, is I'm going to go ahead and change out the trailers and I'll be back once I'm done. Okay, unfortunately, this next trailer does not work correctly when you have the vehicles in traffic mode. So I'm going to show you what the trailer looks like and then we're going to do a little workaround so we can at least get this going. So this is a much bigger trailer than before. And I'm thinking with this one, we could use it as a ramp and really go for a flight. So first off, we're going to tell the AI to still go into traffic mode, but I got to keep my eye on them because if they get too far away, they'll despawn. So I have to keep them within range, but also go fast enough to fly over the ramps. Although on this very first attempt, we don't need to go for a flight because I'm still annoyed that we never got to do the thing I was trying before. And I have a feeling this ramp will work even better for that. So we just go nice and careful and we have finally accomplished it. Do you see how easy it is when the AI doesn't act dumb? So easy and we can go back onto the road just like that and keep on driving. It's amazing how good it works if only the AI had three brain cells instead of two. Anyways, this guy's the ramp. I don't know how fast we're going because these trailers were glitching out earlier. But that was a pretty decent flight. We actually landed it mostly smoothly. It's not quite right in the suspension, so I will reset it, but I'm still pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna wait for him to get in front of me, make sure he doesn't despawn. And I think the other truck might have despawned and the only thing left behind me is the trailer. So we'll keep an eye on that, but we should be able to do another jump right quick. Getting up to speed and then let's go flying. Smooth landing, that was a real smooth landing. I don't think we have any damage off that one. All right, and we're just gonna slow down and do it again. Like, that is the perfect use of these trailers, and I really wish that they would stay spawned up with the vehicle, but they use a mod that gives a gooseneck attachment for that trailer, and I think it's just the different attachment doesn't work with the AI exactly as the other ones do, unfortunately. Like, it works in 99% of the situations. This is the 1% where it doesn't, unfortunately. And, ooh, look at this. This is good. Over the barrier. Oh, ha-ha. I don't know if I've ever actually had a car that drives on this side of that barrier. Usually I slam into a wall or something and then fly over it somehow, but this time I actually drove on it so we can drive down this road. And this is a road you've never seen me drive down as far as I know. I have landed here different times from doing drag strip runs somehow, but this is a road we can drive on it and then it ends. Now the next thing I want to do requires a lot of setup. I'm not going to spoil it, so I'll just be back once everything is good to go. And I'm going to tell you guys now, I am like 90% sure this is just not going to work at all. But here we go. We have a bunch of trucks all stacked up on top of each other. And it's beautiful. It's so beautiful, in fact. If I did that dumb thing where I started my videos with a random clip, I'd be like, look at my amazing stack of trucks. What happens when you try to drive it? Find out in this video. And if you're watching the video, you get to find out right now. Once I find the correct truck to drive. Oh, I think this one's it. All right. So we are ready to go, and let's see what happens. Just driving forward ever so gently. Oh, it's just dragging it out. That's not what I want. Back it up. Squish it back in. So you see what was happening there is just only the first trailer was coming with me. The rest of them were sliding away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the node grabber to really attach the trailers as tightly as possible, and I'll be back once I'm done. Okay, so I tried to attach all five using the node grabber twice, and both times it just fell over. But it seems like four trucks is stable-ish, so we're going to try driving with four trucks attached. Yes, this is actually working. I should also mention, the truck that's doing the towing has had an engine swap on it, so it has a big, fat diesel V8 
I didn't max it out though. This is a truck that you could probably buy off of the lot in terms of actual performance. So it makes a decent amount of power, but it's not crazy and it's only going like 10 miles per hour. But that's enough for us to have some fun. So we got the Hirochi Sunburst and we are gonna go and try to use that thing as a ramp and I just noticed there's no car audio. Listen. So anyways, that's strange, but we're now going up the amazing ramp of truck. And this is working, oh. I got stuck in the ramp and I lost all my momentum. And you guys know how I said it just seemed like it wanted to tip a lot? Oh, it's starting to tip now. It's not gonna fall over, thankfully, but it was close. <laughs> I have really, really ruined that. We gotta go find the truck that's actually driving again and see how he's doing. One of these trucks has to be him. There he is. He is severely overheating. That is one thing I did not upgrade. I did not upgrade the regular radiator. So what we could do is we can try this one more time, but we're gonna upgrade the truck where it has maximum boost, big fat radiator, and we're gonna see what that does. Because yeah, it's able to move the trailers, but very poorly. We top out at like 10 miles per hour and it's gonna overheat and die before you know it. So I'll be back once I have it set up. All right, now we're cooking. Let's see what this does. Okay, the trucks are falling off the trailer a little bit because I accelerated so hard, but the node grabber is there to save my butt. And we are accelerating slightly more than before, but we are still not going very fast. All the extra power does not help much except for launching it, it seems like. We can go and go to high gear and see if that helps us get some more top speed, but I don't think it's gonna make a difference. Yeah, we're just, we're gonna just cruise along at 15 miles per hour. That's what it's gonna do. I guess if I had a manual transmission, it might be able to help. Let's see. So let's go ahead and swap this automatic for a manual because it just seems like it's not shifting when it should. So we'll get the race six speed manual and then I have to reattach the trailer. Hopefully this doesn't mess anything up. Looks okay. Once again, lock differentials. And do I actually need low gear to launch? Probably not after seeing that first launch, right? Oh, maybe. It's struggling, so we'll go ahead and tick that low range on and then get moving. Get moving. Go! Go! Once it gets moving, it should be going. The clutch is gonna die. Come on! There we go. All right, so apparently the automatic transmission is actually needed to take off. If you stick the manual in there, you just can't get any momentum going because when you upshift, you just drop your momentum, but the automatic's able to maintain it? Weird. Either way, I got a new idea which requires some setup, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, now we have two trucks pulling on the front together. They are attached with the node grabber. It doesn't look like it, but trust me, they are. So we're gonna floor it with this one, gets them a little bit closer, and then we go to the other truck and start flooring it with him as well. And you see it's pulling it along, and now we're making some speed. Oh yeah, 30 miles per hour apparently. I don't trust that speedometer at all, but we do feel like we're moving faster. Uh oh, it's tipping. It's tipping. This is what happens when you go too fast. Two trucks is too much power. <laughs> well, this was quite possibly one of the dumbest things I ever tried. I didn't know what to expect at all. I just knew it'd be a disaster and it definitely was. Uh, but at this point, I can't really think of anything else to do with it. So until next time, this has been YBR. And remember, if you like or dislike this video, I will know. I can tell by how ridiculous the trailers are. So do the right thing and I'll see you next time. Oh, that was weird the way the camera just changed right there. Don't know what that was about. Where's that sunburst? You, go crash into them.